it begins. From that day forward, the independent state of Crossfell, by virtue of, it, of its categorically inviolable power, promoted a daring diplomatic coalition. The proposal? The establishment of the United Nations of Zimuria, with Crossbell as its leader. This framework, which prohibited all military action and guaranteed free economic activity, was enticing to small countries and autonomous states suffering under the Empire and the Republic's iron fists. Liberal, Ramphiria, and Arteria initially opposed the Union as excessive and imperious. But in time, they, too, capitulated, unable to push back against the growing momentum. In Calvard, an economic crisis arose as a result of the events in Crossbell. Before long, anti-immigration terrorism began to run rampant within the Republic. Meanwhile, Erebonia found itself engulfed in a civil war between noble and reformist factions, as rumors spread that the Blood and Iron Chancellor had been assassinated. Unofficially, Ouroboros made its endorsement of Crossbell known to every nation on the continent. Okay, that's weird. Soon, nothing and no one would be able to stand in the way of President Kwa's ambitions. Except the SSS. Is the Red Constellation going to say, this is boring, so we're going to break the SSS out so we can deal with the president? Boring. That went by way too quickly. How come those big hunks of metal get to have all the fun? No one's even trying to, win to invade anymore after they wipe that first wave clean off the continent. Everything alright, surely? Oh, hey, Daddy. I was wondering, don't you think it's time we got out of this place? Things are really hitting the fan over in the Empire. It would be m way more fun over there, wouldn't it? Your public sounds like a blast, too. Anywhere but here, really. We still have a contract to fulfill. If you're feeling bored, you could always occupy yourself with that delinquent. Wald? I guess he can put up a good fight when he demonizes. When he's off his pills? I'd have a better time squaring off against sewer rats. Besides, he went out to do his own thing for today. Heck if I know where though. What about our new friends from the society? They seem plenty entertaining. I don't know. They're not bad. But I'm not sure if we're compatible, you know? Plus, that broad in the armor looks way out of my league. Ha, <laughs> very perceptive of you. Still, you'll only waste away sulking like this. What about our little deserter? He's making his way over to mines as we speak. Oh yeah? Still hasn't learned his yes lesson yet, huh? Is he really stupid enough to put his up his dukes against us? Don't undersell him just yet. He's no weakling. Not as much of one as you seem to think, at least. Really? I'm just not seeing it. Well, whatever. If you think he's so tough, then you can have him, Daddy. That may be for the best. Your new favorite playmate is still closer than you think, after all. Really? You mean she didn't go back to Calvard? Hey, UA's forces have been spotted near Armorica village, which is near the Sun Temple, which is where we last saw them. Intel says Yin has been among them ever since the raid on Crossbow City. He's a stubborn bastard, that cow. Turns out the entertainment you're looking for has been here all along. Who cares about that four-eyed schmuck? I'm gunning for the real main attraction. What an impressive, like, way to stand up. Aw, uh, yeah. Now I'm getting revved up. We never got a chance to go all the way back at Arc-en-Ciel. But the next time I get my hands on her, I'm really gonna have some fun. Haha, <laughs> knock yourself out. 
I'd expect no less from you, Miss Orlando. And then cut to prison. Ooh, not quite. It's just gonna do a bunch of cutscene and then it's gonna cut to prison. Are we not gonna fight him again? He's gonna realize he's a terrible person and be like, wow, I'm a bad person. And then he's gonna not fight us. Doubt it. I don't think he has the self-awareness, but maybe he, he'll grow. He'll realize, hey, maybe I'm not a good person. I guess during this cutscene, because it's going to take a while. Welcome to Trails to Azure Part 58, I believe. And it's big events. Wild Dino, what are you? Wald? Get out of here! It really is you, Wald! Dino's dumb, I hate Dino. Where have you been? We've all been so worried. I I'm so glad you're safe. Everyone else got hurt pretty bad. Oh, is Dino dumb and he didn't know it was Wald even though they explicitly said that it was Wald? A couple were left out of the hospital. But they haven't come back to Ignis at all. I wonder why. It's gonna be okay though, right? Wald, as long as you're here again then. What? Like... Not Wald. The Saber Vipers are but over. Don't bother trying to follow me. I'm not going to say it twice. Uh, as always, individual character moments are... But they're not great writing. It's like, like, yes, Dino is portrayed as a wide-eyed idiot. But he saw Wald beat everyone up. And literally every other member of the Saber Vipers that I talked to in the hospital was like, nah, I'm done. Like, whatever. No, you can't mean that. Come on, Walt. You're our leader and the one who destroyed us. The one we've always been counting on to kill us. The others said the demon who attacked us that night was you. But that can't be right. Ah, uh, yes. I hate Dino's so stupid. Tell me it's not true, Wald, please. Like, guh. Questionable writing as always. Stop! You have some nerve showing your face here, Wald Wallace. After everything you put the downtown district through, not on our watch. Someone has to, somebody has to put a stop to you. Well, why'd you do it? What was even in it for you? We know you're behind this. You turned into that monster and wrecked your holy ground. No, you didn't. You only wrecked the other side. The testament's location is actually totally fine. You betrayed your men. Spilled their blood. They trusted you. Believed in you. Y you're despicable. True. He is despicable. Hm. So, where was he in q -ball? Not that they ever belonged here. They finally turn tail and run. Sh shut your damn mouth. They'll definitely come back. They're not like you. I mean, that's probably true. Oh, yeah? They have their own mission. One they're duty-bound to fulfill. That's why, even if they did leave the city, we know they haven't abandoned us. We may not know exactly what they're doing. We believe in them. Heh <laughs> heh. Ha ha. Ha ha. God, it's bad writing every time they do that. A mission? Huh? That's so. Maybe we'll get to settle things for good after all. Ain't that right? I really hate Wald as a character. He's just so boring. And with that, the focus of the Phantasmal Blaze plan now shifts to Erebonia.
and the Cold Steel Part 3 or 4. Or the epilogue of Cold Steel 2? Because, like, supposedly the one of the ways to play these games is, like, you play Cold Steel 1 and 2, but you stop Cold Steel 1 before you play the epilogue, then you play through both Zero and Azure and then play the epilogue of Cold Steel 2, but, like, who would play it that way? Anyway. Will you be staying here to observe for the time being, like we planned? That is correct. I will remain at hand until the proper stage has been set in the Empire. <laughs> this new Septarian of Zero compares quite favorably to the power of the long absent Septarian of Mirage. I also want to comment. The idea that the Kwa family somehow persisted in a small state for the last, like, 1200 years is absurd. It's like, if they only had one kid they passed everything down to, and no branching off, it's so risky to pass something down that way. But if they had multiple kids, half of Crossbow would be related to them at this point. At which point, it's just they're the one that passed it down, and it's just weird. What's more, it seems to wield latent abilities that the original could not, could have never possessed. I'm looking forward to seeing how far the Kwa family's alchemy can take this. Though, if, if Ouroboros is the reason the Kwa family was able to maintain its lineage and information, or they made it up in the last few years, gave it to them pretending that they're an ancient lineage, that would be cool. If their alchemy it kept them alive longer, so they only had like three generations in the last 500 to a thousand years, that's reasonable. I hope they justify somehow how they were able to pass, pass down information for that long without it deviating. Or explicitly state that the information has deviated. <laughs> my, my, <laughs> Professor. You're just chomping at the bit over this, aren't you? Speaking of which, it seems her old rivals are finally starting to make their move. Yes, think of it as an opportunity. Their position differs inherently from our own. Perhaps clarifying just how, how much would be wise for the future. I will trust the two of you to see to that. I intend to stay here and continue gathering data on the Septarian of Zero. Or it may have the potential to serve as the ultimate interface, one capable of linking mankind to the gods. Ah, oh, Shizuku. Have your eyes recovered? The eyes don't look quite weird. Because I think the... They weren't reflective previously, which made them look really creepy. Like, there was no white except for the you know white of the eye but there's no like reflective or i don't think there's a dot in the middle that looks so weird because if you focus on the dot in the middle it makes the eyes look alien or bug-like and it it's not something a human's eyes feel like they should look like oh yeah the dizziness yes the dizziness stopped and i can see colors again it's all because of you, Kia. Thank you so much. Haha, <laughs> I'm glad. But you don't have to thank me, Shizuku. You and everyone at the hospital worked hard for this, right? All I did was give you the final push. If you say so. And besides, it'd be a waste not to put this power I was given to good use. 
This is a sacrifice I'm willing to make, if it means I can give you the gift of sight back. But Kia... I mean, I'm happy. I really am. I've been blind for so long. I always felt like I only made life harder for father. And in all the time we've been best friends, I've... I, uh, it should be I'd never seen your face. Not I've never... like... Because I think I've implies she still can't, but she can. Though actually, her face has changed. So the in, in the whole time they were best friends, she's still never seen what she looked like normally. Anyway, and in all the time I've, we've been best friends, I've never even seen your face. Because yeah, that implies she still can't, but she can. But she can't because she has a new face now, sort of. Now that I finally can, it makes me so happy that I could cry, but... But say, Okia, are you really okay? Is this really what you want? To be apart from Lloyd and the others? To be forced to do all these scary things? I don't like it. What they're doing to you isn't right. Miss Maribel, Mr. Kwa, and not just them. Father, too. Shizuku. Thank you, Shizuku. I love you so much. But I'm fine. I knew it. I knew what I was getting myself into when I made my decision. I mean, can't she just have an ultimatum and say, Hey, let them live a normal life, or I just won't help you moving forward? Like, because shouldn't Kia be the one that's in power right now? Because. At least from the Quaz perspective, she's the only one that can control the mechs. And if she wanted to, she could just... Pr I presume she could just kill Dieter and Maribel. She wouldn't, but she could. Anyway, so you don't have to worry for my sake, okay? Crossing False Paradise. Crossing False Paradise is a... Oh, it's Fragments. It's not Finale. Ooh. Knox Prison. That's a big room. Where's the toilet, though? Why is it echoing so much? That would be such a nightmare to live in if it echoed that much, if you just made any noise. The other members of the SSS are under protection in separate locations. Under protection? I'm sorry to tell you that you're the only one here, Lloyd. You don't need to apologize to me. Protection is a funny way to put it, though, don't you think? Just what exactly is it that you're protecting us from? I'm sure you've pieced it all together by now. Who's behind the raid on the city? I mean, the ones who hurt Fran. Your one and only sister, Noel. I know. But still. But still, I'm a proud member of the CGF. Except, it's not the CGF anymore. And why would you be a proud ma Why would you be proud? Even if the name on our emblem changes, my responsibilities won't. I have a duty to uphold my I have a duty to uphold to my state as a soldier. That's bad writing in my opinion. I don't think it fits her character that she'd be like, oh yes. The name running the state the person running the state has become a dictator, so I'm gonna help him. Like I don't think it fits with her character totally. Like I mean she's gonna come around eventually, I assume. But it, I don't think it fits her character that she'd be like, the duty to uphold the state as a soldier is more important than caring about people. Like, it's, it's weird. And they don't need her. If she left, it would just be a token gesture. She's not important. She can quit the CGF. She can do the, the right thing. And it wouldn't affect anything. She does nothing. She's worthless in the grand scheme of things. If I don't, then Crossbell would be fine because it has mechs protecting it. Crossbell will be, will be wiped off the map by the Empire and the Republic. 
Noel. Noel. I mean, no. You don't matter. If Noel sided with us, with the way the plot is written, we would still lose. That's it. Like, I get it, Lloyd. I know what they're doing to Kia isn't right. And having to rely on the society of all people makes me sick. But you saw it, didn't you? The Imperial Army fired those terrible railway guns straight at us. They're weapons of mass destruction. Had they hit, hundreds of people would have died. There, there was no other way. I'm sorry. I know I don't have any right to say this to you, Lloyd. Not, no right to even be here. All the same, I can't imagine you'll be detained forever. Once the crisis has passed, you'll likely be acquitted and released. So please, just stay patient for now. Come on, you don't even give him a toilet though. All he has is a sink. After hearing what she had to say, and any possible response I could have made escaped me. You could have said, if you had betrayed them, you would have still lost. So you should have done that anyway, so you could stick with us. But that would be less productive, but... Not only that, I failed Kia. I failed to protect her. To see the burden she'd been carrying long before that day, as always, this writing is like, I don't care. Like... I was so wrapped up in trying to protect everyone that I neglected the one person who needed it most. Balls. It's like... Ugh. Both Kia's origins and the person who killed my brother. I swore with my heart and soul that I would uncover those two truths. We don't need this. It was literally... 23 minutes ago if I'd been playing it non-stop. Like... Bad writing. We don't need an, a summary that soon after in-game. I'm so sorry, guy. It looks like I'm not ready to catch up to you after all. I couldn't keep my promises. It would be so funny if the game ended right here. Oh, that would be funny. What do I do now? What can I do? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Pathetic. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try to recognize that voice. It's a beefy character. It's not Randy. I assume it's guessable. Okay, let's go for... Oh, I should know that voice. Oh, I really should know. Pathetic. Oh, it's him. The reason I didn't recognize his voice is because he wasn't in this game. Look at you. Are you really the same hotshot detective who put us behind bars? It's pretty twisted to put these two in the same location. Like... Makes me feel like a chump for spending the last six months eating cold slop in this hellhole. Leave me alone. What? They don't even have pillows. Wow. What a not nice place to live. Obviously it's a prison, but like... Give them pillows. Give them a toilet. Or like, a, a nice off room with a toilet. That'd be nice. Say what you want. We both know you have no one to blame but yourself for ending up here. The fact that we were the ones to finally arrest you was just a matter of us being in the right place at the right time. That's the truth of it. Shoot me in the head. That barrier wasn't one we got over by our own merit. Barrier, barrier, barrier. Boring writing. Pick a new word. You're, you're a real killjoy, kid. But, I'll cut you some slack. Talk of the yards is... Yards been that things are going down the shitter up there. Who'd have thought the CEO of the IBC was the brains behind it all? Man's more of a dictator than a president. Okay, Garcia's my number one new favorite character because he's willing to say President Qua is a dictator. Good on him. 
And now you've rattled the cages of the Red Constellation, the Society, the CDF, hell, even the blade, Divine Blade of Wind. Eh. The Red Constellation doesn't count. The Red Constellation just does stuff they're paid for. They probably wouldn't hold too much of a grudge. Other than, like, specifically Shirley holding a grudge, because she's crazy. <laughs> huh. There's one royal flush I wouldn't want to deal with, that's for sure. But take your shoes off. Little piece of unsolicited advice. Your best bet is to wait out the storm. You'd have to be a damn fool to try and face what's shaken down out there. But hey, maybe it runs in the family. Oh. That's right. You knew my brother, didn't you? Hmm. I guess you could say we were acquainted. At I hate the emphasis on barriers. Please, just don't call a name a barrier to get over or something like that. Just use a, a different word. Use a, borrow a thesaurus and just barrier. Blockade. Like, use different words to emphasize the impact if it's a real bad barrier call it a blockade call it a wall call it a anything but a barrier just pick something else guess we could say we're acquainted stubborn son of a bitch never quit sticking his nose where it didn't belong no matter how much we threatened him and yet his same smug ass would stroll up to you at a food cart an hour later to shoot the breeze over a few drinks God, if he was annoying. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, that sounds like Guy, alright. Honestly, I couldn't picture someone like him going down to anyone. Not even death itself. Guess I was wrong, though. The world's just full of surprises. I mean, when you're betrayed by your buddy. He never gave up the fight, did he? Not even for a second. I'll say. And it wasn't just Ravash, either. The man was barking up everyone's tree. Corrupt Diet members, intelligence agents, both Imperial and Republican, hell. He even managed to sniff out Yoakima Selga away. He had a real fire in his belly. That much I can't deny. Right. Hey, don't go getting the wrong idea. Guy Bannings wasn't some superhero, you got that. Huh? In terms of sheer power and instinct, McLean would cream him every time. And he could never hold a candle to Sergei the Scrutinous when it came to fighting smarter instead of harder. And if it's sound judgment and deduction skills you want, that bastard Dudley was always a cut above him. Your brother had his limits. I mean, of course, but... No, he has a point. But if there was one thing he had going for him that no one else did, I'd have to say it was his tenacity. Oh, that's what kept him on his feet, more likely than not. Taking action was second nature to him. Gave him the moxie to punch above his weight, the odds be damned. We already know all this, it's just repeating information that's like obvious. Wasn't wasn't that he was in over his head either. He knew exactly what he was doing. The man left an impression on you, much as I hate to admit it. Okay, time to speed through this, because I don't care. Word of advice, Lloyd. To be a man, you have to be willing to tackle the issues you're facing head on. Follow your heart and intuition, and grasp the truth with your own two hands. If you can do that, you'll be able to see what exactly it is that you want to do. Why was he wearing a singular dog tag? If it was a dog tag at all. If it was someone else's, that makes sense, but if it's his own. But my understanding is the, the purpose is you have two of them. So if you die, someone takes one of them, and so it can be matched to the one that they're wearing to identify the body. If there was anything that kept my brother going, it was his desire to protect everything that was important to him. Not just his family and loved ones, but Crossbell itself. When you think of it that way, maybe that included all of you and Ravash too. The hell? Haha, <laughs> trust me, I know how it sounds. 
you probably wouldn't need his help, let alone want it. But I think, more than anything, he wanted to know what made Crossbell tick, even if that meant breaking it open to look inside. That way, he could strive to protect this land and its people in his own way, day in and day out. So that's the man he was. An absolute grade A bona fide idiot. Bona fide is such a weird word. Like, bona fide. What is. Sorry. I just wanna. It's not English. Well, I mean, technically, it probably qualifies as English, but. Yeah, in good faith in Latin. Bona is probably good fide is faith, good faith. Good, <laughs> good faith idiot. Bona fide idiot. Yeah. That's one department I could never hope to cash up to him in. Still, I'm his younger brother, which has nothing to do with anything. I'm going to take after him in some respects, whether I like it or not. What are you saying? Has he been digging a hole behind the mirror? Has he been pulling a Shawshank Redemption? Oh hell, no. Don't tell me. You're not thinking of busting out? To me, staying here would be the real escape. I don't plan on running away when I've got a truth to get to the bottom of. As a detective of the CPD Special Support Section, I'll free my comrades from captivity and take Kia back. I swear it. Please, <laughs> Garcia be a team member and we fight with him. Heh <laughs> ha ha. You're even more of a half-wit than he was. Garcia. Let's see what you got, kid. What can a little punk like you hope to accomplish during a shit show like this? Here's your chance to prove just how determined you really are. Oh, it'd be funny if we'd had a duel right there. Fists punch each other. Oh. Oh, it's bait. It's bait. Good play. What the? Sounds like it's coming from the cell in the back. Who's the other red cells? Wow, that all you got, you snot-nosed little wimp? Ooh, cough, cough. What? A fight? We put the guy who put him in behind bars in the same room? Wow, well thought out. What? A fight? Hey, break it up. What's going on in there? It's because of you that I'm stuck in this crowbar hotel. Crowbar hotel? Say your prayers, you son of a bitch. Ah, no, please. Damn it, he's not stopping. No way around it. Let's go. Yeah, ready your weapon. And we're gonna, they're going to be to the side of it. Behind the door. Behind the door? No, not behind the door. They should have been behind the door. Cease this is one throwsy. Freeze. Don't make me shoot. Haha, <laughs> got him. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. We're just having a little fun. I didn't mean to get so carried away. Cheeky bastard. You can say goodbye to you can say goodbye to all that good behavior you've racked up. Now step away, step back, and keep your hands where I can see them. <laughs> Damn it! Short staffed or not, we shouldn't have put the two of them in the same cell, huh? It's all, like, okay, if the cells that aren't being used, being short staffed doesn't justify not using the unused cells in the same hallway. Like, it, there's no reason. Hey, are you alright? Pant, pant. Gua. Cough, cough. Damn, his injuries must be internal. Hurry up and call the doctor. Actually, I'd rather you didn't. Boring. Ooh, now that's a punch. Urgh, you little... Now that's a kick. Rah. Uh... I wish there was another way we could have pulled this off. <laughs> Little late for that, kid. Besides, this was your idea. I thought you were out of your damn mind when you told me to hit you. 
I never pegged you as the hustling type. And I never knew Ravash was hiding a budding actor in its ranks. Ugh. You really did break one of my back molars, so... How? I don't understand punching, but like, how do you break a back molar and not one of the other teeth? Maybe there's a reason. Well, pardon me. Maybe I'd have I'd have hired you as a stunt you a stunt man if you hadn't put me out of work. Anyway, a promise is a promise. I'll back you up until we get outside. So, what's the plan? This is the third floor of the prison. So they so they should have a few soldiers stationed here. Our goal is to find a way to break through the gaps in their patrols and escape from the ground level. Escape from the ground level. Huh, I like it. It's been too damn long. Time to have some fun. Okay. Realistically? Okay, he just has weapons. They should, you know, steal the guns, but whatever. Lloyd equipped a pair of makeshift tonfas he fashioned out of pipes. Garcia has joined the party. Beware that you, as your Enigma 2 has been confiscated, you'll be unable to use arts. Additionally, all of your items have also been seized, so be mindful of your HP. Come on, let me loot guns from them. Well, this isn't the one I beat down. This is the one I beat down. Okay. He's three levels higher than me. He has a single target faint. Single target faint. Line faint. Medium area faint. And a... a oops. Bumped. A strong self buff that doesn't come with a negative. Though it is just strength speed, whereas burning heart is also defense, but and it nulls ailment, so it has other applications. Oh, what was it? What's going on? You must be hearing things. Ah, rank and file revash. What's here? Free loot. Battle scope times ten. <laughs> you can get the uh, all the scans on these guys. I was sentenced I was sentenced to 25 to life for chest slaughter. You don't want any of you won't don't want any of this, buddy. God the music is way over the top. Celestial bombs times five. When I ask to be locked up, this isn't what I had in mind. What the heck has taken those two? I'm ready to change shifts and get out of here already. Huh? Hey, what are you? I have no idea what they said because it's auto clicking. Okay. He can punch a guy. I guess I will just punch a guy for the moment. And he will raging spin. Okay, this is okay, it's a really thin line. What is this two misses in a row? Damn you. Don't think you can escape. How they... He tripped the alarm system from his, from his enigma. Heh. <laughs> well, what's our next move? I was prepared for this. We're going to have to force our way through. Uh -huh. Fine by me. They really need a less repetitive song. Like, this song's way too short. <laughs> I think of my next life. I'd like to be something more than a chest. I'd like to travel all over the world, helping people. Getting them just what they need when they need it. Yeah, in my next life, I'd love to be a crate. On the topic of crates and traveling and stuff, uh, the, um, I guess I can only equip stuff on him. I guess I can't equip stuff on him, so I just have two emergency puppets. Let's see what happens. Let's not see what happens. No, let's see what happens.
But like on the top of crates and shipping stuff, the, you know, red, blue, green, yellow crate, well, they're sea cans is what they're called. There they are. Freeze. But the sea cans, it's like sea, S-E-A, cans because they're used for shipping in the sea. But they are also called like letter C cans because they are used because that's just in what you say the words are S-E-A can he's gonna die I actually hate this section so far. And I can't revive him because I don't have a revive item. They've even started using Warhounds. The old CGF would have never done this. Just how far have they fallen? <laughs> Seems to me like they've learned they've learned a few things from Ravash's results. Chances are they're pumping those pups with drugs to control them too. Those old boys looked like a bunch of fine-trained killers, didn't they? And whose fault is that? I mean, it's not his fault. I can't imagine this decision was made by, by Commander Bales or Deputy Commander Douglas. Can I revive him? If I can't, then this is a reload. It's revive and restore, but I only have five of them. Well, I'm not going to save over anything moving forward. And I'm just going to try... Seeing how this goes. I could use those. You're busting out of here? Great, take me with you. What do you mean I'm too heavy? What's going on out there? Guards, where are you? Hartman. I'm not reading this because I don't care about Hartman. I'm just figuring out who's behind the doors. Don Marconi. I'm not reading this because I'm a lame person. I just don't care. Like, I just want to know who it is. You're the cause of the uproar. Ernest? Oh, him. Okay. Oh, uh, I guess I'll read it. Because Ernest is actually an interesting person. He's not actually interesting previously, but like... Neither Hartman nor Don Marconi are interesting characters. Former mayor's lapdog. Guess they would have tossed him in here too. I'd heard whispers that you'd been brought here, Lloyd. It certainly came as a shock, but I'm glad it gave us the chance to speak again. Same to you. It sounds like that gnosis is completely out of your system now. Yes, and thank goodness it is. What I did to you all, it was truly unforgivable. No, never mind that. This is not the time for repentance. Once I've atoned for my sins and paid my debts to society, I hope you'll allow me to make a proper apology to you, Ellie, and the others. Excuse me. Now, don't worry about me. You must hurry. I'll pray the goddess keeps you safe. Thank you, Ernest. Done with your little chat? We've wasted enough time already. Uh, I think I actually don't... I think having that equipped was a waste. I would have died, so it wasn't actually a waste, but... I think blowing these items... Too much is better, and saving it for where I assume the final encounter will be is probably better. Rossi? Kid from the SSS? Damn it, detain them! Good gameplay. Okay, can I just S craft Rising Sun? It's not quite big enough, but that's probably the best option.
Brave Smash 2. Pant pant. Run out of breath already, are you? Do you really think you have what it takes to get out of here in this sorry ass state? Honestly, no. I wouldn't trust myself to do something like this on my own. But with you backing me up, I just may be able to pull this prison break off. At this point, I'm willing to exploit every advantage I can get. This music is so repetitive. <laughs> ha, look at you. Turning over to the dark side. Working against a dictator is the dark side. You won't hear me complaining. Now let's bust this joint. Okay, now it's time to heal again. Zerum Powder is super full heal. Bet you're wishing you kept that get out of jail free card you found back at the Ravash hideout right about now. What's interesting is that there was actually historical get out of jail free cards. You know, uh, I'm not, not going to do anything safe. If I, have to re if I have to reload it, I have to reload all the way back. It doesn't matter. I don't have an S craft. That's more than we bargained for. But get past this and we're home free. What do you say, kid? Ready to hit him where it hurts? I mean, I can't heal. I'm already full health. I assume nothing changes. I assume that's just the usual prompt. We've identified two the two fugitives. The f how? How'd they communicate this? The first is former Ravash executive, Garcia Rossi. The second, Lloyd Bannings of the SSS. Do not let them escape these prison grounds. The honor of the defense force depends on it. Yes, sir. Such honor. Drugging dogs. Honor, huh? I wasn't aware you had me. What? How did you get down? make it down here so quickly? Sorry, but you're in our way. I really wish they'd gone through the effort of changing his tonfas here to look like pipes. Heh. Why don't you fellas show me what you can do? My fists versus your honor. Ch charge! I'm gonna lose, because I don't have an S break. Um, whirlwind kick. I think that's the most I can hit. Exactly zero faint procs. Lovely. I'm loving it. So Zerum is a revive. Oh, that's bad. The, the AoE smash would be able to hit three, but the line can't hit three that I want to hit. It's better this way, but like... If Brave Smash is the one that I thought it was... I probably should use matchless power. Because that's not going to be lethal, I think. But I need to heal him, because he's going to die. And he has to heal again. Only the best gameplay. I could line attack those guys a bit. I could hit four. Four. Ooh, two dogs is valuable. Four there, or four there. I think doing this will kill one of the left guys, but I don't need to kill them yet. I think this is better. Oh, Brave Slip Mash is not the one I was thinking of. I wanted to do... Wait, he doesn't have... Oh, he never had... I thought Brave Smash was an AT delay. I guess it doesn't. It isn't the AT delay. Huh. Misremembered. 
We actually did it. I have to say though, I'm impressed. You still pack a punch, even after all this time in prison. Randy and the Red Constellation's leader are insanely strong, too. But you're definitely no slouch. Hmm. You're talking about the Scarlet Ogre, yeah? Sigmund Orlando Orlando? He and I cross paths all the time back in my Jaeger days. So believe me when I say he's more monster than human. I hear his little girl is a chip off the old block, too. Yeah? When it comes to pure combat strength, she might even be more than a match for the society. Okay. This writing is Garbo. Pure combat strength, she might even be more than a match for the society. This society that includes Aryan Rudd, the individual who could single handedly one shot the entire SSS plus Yin by herself and yet we stood a chance against or Scar uh, the Scarlet Ogre, I already forgot her name because I don't care like we could fight her we didn't stand a chance against Aryan Red what is this line? what is this writing? it's bad writing is what it is then again one of their in m members in particular is more formi formidable than I can even comprehend at least he they note it, but again, like, saying what he said in the first line doesn't make sense when he then is like, oh, actually, no, that's not even slightly true. <laughs> and you're seriously itching to break out of here and face them all head on? Talk about a light at the end of the tunnel. Well, that's the price of freedom. We're gonna fight Noel. It's closed off. There should be a way to unlock it nearby, though. No, the door. My Mira says it's in that room over there. Well, what are we waiting for? Okay, I need to heal. Wrong person. I'm gonna save over this. Lloyd recovered his Enigma 2 and all equipment and items that had been confiscated from him. There we go. I knew they had to be keeping all this, all of this stuff somewhere. My quartz stash is in here too. There, that's everything accounted for. Hurry it up, kid. We gotta move. Unless you want to get your ass thrown back in a cell. Right. Now what does it say? No, it doesn't say anything. Did they auto-equip it appropriately? No, they didn't. They didn't even try. Sadly, I don't remember what I had equipped. Did I have shield equipped this whole time? Okay, that's a level 4. I want high level. That's actually probably not bad. Actually, making him an item user wouldn't be bad. But I'm going to stick with what I was using. I don't remember what I had equipped. Did I have an ingenuity? I must have had ingenuity and intimidation. That's 4, 2, 2. That's 6. That might be better, but I think that must have been what I had. I wish they could have just automatically re-equipped what I had before. Because I don't remember what I had equipped. I set it and forget it. Scent is 422, but I didn't have it always equipped. But I will now. But I do have Holy Breath. I I don't have... The Adamantine one, so I have to swap up a bit. Can't remember where. I had everything else here. Somehow I'm only at 20 evasion because I have none of my equipment equipped for some reason. 
Hagimaru Hari. Ooh, that gives evasion. That, and I just unlocked those. I need the emerald. No, I don't know what it's called. What's it called? Evergreen? Yes. I guess this is double evergreen, right? I can't equip him because I wouldn't be able to get it back. Okay, so it's fully equipped there. Then I have to change the orbments here. Or to what is needed for adamantine? Ooh, fragments. That's the name of this. I'm looking for Earth. I need three space. I'm currently sitting at two space, so I need to get one more space somewhere. Um, actually, I don't know if I even want defense, so I probably could swap that. Oh, I actually need three space, because the two space is over here. So I need three space in this section. I kind of want to swap defense out. Okay, what? So, I think I used hit three to get a bunch of space and accuracy. Okay, I'm gonna. I hate this music. Anything else that gives me three space? Two space on move, but not when it, that's in the wrong section. Dragon Vision is pretty cool for like a repeat run. That I might never do anyway, but it's still cool. Yeah, I don't think anything's going to give me three space. Oh, Mirage for max EP. That might be ideal. I lose a bit there. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's accept less defense for more strength. And maintain these two to get more variety. Adamantine Guard, bunch of Chrono stuff, and I get Silver Thorn, which I mean, I'm never using arts on him because then he can't counterattack, but what a weird display to use. Got it. Good. Now let's get the hell out of here. Pretty easy prison break, huh? Garcia? Well, why would he follow us further? Our little partnership ends here. You're on your own now. Huh? Despite everything, I still got all the responsibility as the leader of Ravash's rank and file. Is he just going back into the prison? I'd respect that. That's very respectable if he does that. Hell, not just to them. I owe it to our Dawn as well. I can't just abandon them to save myself. Wait, why even help me come this far if you had no intention of escaping? You can't be. You can't seriously be thinking of facing the defense force alone. They're too much, even for you. Let me. This ain't your battle to fight, kid. You got a truth to get to the bottom of. You said it your own damn self. Besides, your crew is waiting for you. Not to mention that little girl of yours. Do you really have the time to waste on a no-account convict like me? Oh. Garcia, best character now. Mainly because he's respectable in this specific setting right here only. Thank you, Garcia. Actually, no, he was respectable in the end of Furvash as well. Because, like, he was an honor-based guy. He was against the drugs and all that. So it's he's honorable. And it's nice. It's a good interaction. It doesn't feel cheesy. And it 100% fits with his character. Thank you, Garcia. As a member of the CPD, I can't advocate you staging a breakout. So I guess all I can say is, take care of yourself. 
<laughs> As if I need you to tell me that. Lloyd Bannings. That some little brother he's left behind. The kid's got a good head on his shoulders. I'll give him that much. Oh wow, they only do it now. There he is. Don't let him get away. Him, not them. <laughs> Heh, right where I want them. I actually hope he just murders them all. Bring it on. The killing bear is ready to maul your worthless asses. I actually think he would be able to take them. In his peak state, at least. Pant Pant. Go by Knox Road to Mines. Watch over him, Eidos. Look at the Pleroma grass. There's Pleroma grass blooming here, too. It must have happened while I was in custody. Look at the little cute fisherman on the bo bottom right ish. Near the Pleroma grass. Cute. I wonder if it's random or if it's like a scripted location. It must have been ta happened while I was in custody. Is this because of Kia? It's probably a side effect, yeah. Everything's, everything begins once I cut my way through here. For now, I have to focus on getting to the highway. I thought this was the highway. Oh no, this is Knox Forest Road. There's a path out of all this. I know it. I just have to keep my wits about me. Garcia has left the party. I'm gonna beat this guy up though. Fight me. That's a lot of turns in a row. Ooh, they got juked. I just wanted to kill that guy. Ooh, do, 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 do. Ooh, do, 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 do. Ooh, do, 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 do. Anyway. This will be the end for today. It's an appropriate stopping point. I actually really like these sheep. They're really annoying to fight. Not these ones specifically, but there's specific variants of sheep in these games that are really rough to fight every time. But... I'm sorry, I'm distracted. <laughs> okay, this is pretty good. I'll just let it sit like this. But yeah, that's what I'm stopping for today. Oops, I let him get past. Because I put my controller down. But... It's an appropriate, I think, place to stop. Next time we'll be, I don't know, chasing someone. Probably going... Actually, where, where, where am I on the map? Yeah. No, it was the mines that had the jump down and travel up there. So. Oh, interesting. So it actually fully overwrite the fact that they're afraid of you eventually. Like if they if they do that retreat at the border for long enough, they f just run at you. It's kind of cool. But appropriate stopping point, kind of the precipice of everything really going down. I mean, a prison break is stuff going down, but next time we'll continue this and i'll probably forget everything because i'm playing Baldur's gate 3 by myself great game have a good day bye bye